sickened by um, Bhopal disaster where she had to resign. Um, now, the funny thing about this is that uh, I read in the wake of that that the Homes report, um, this which online, said that in 2011, um, the Dow Chemical sponsorship of the Dundee Airport was the fifth worst worldwide PR disaster. <laughs> now, this is, this is in a year with Fukushima and Fukushima and whatever. Um, now, the bad news for them is it's just got a whole lot worse. <laughs> um, now, what I've Go back to what I said about us not being um, anti olympics uh, the, the reason we've sort of taken that stance is because um, <coughs> when uh, Dale were announced as an IOC partner uh, back in 2010, uh, we made the decision that it was probably something too large for us to attack. Um, it was when the announcement was made last year about them coming to London that um, we decided that we, you know, we had to act, um, and our sponsors made that, uh, made, pardon, our supporters made that very clear as well. So, um, you know, we had to devise a, a strategy and um, we thought it's very clear that, um, you know, we're complaining about Dow being a, a sponsor. Um, so it felt for us that we'd be better served by not taking an anti-Olympic stance. Um, but what we did to take it on from there was found very, very tight focus for our campaign. Um, we're working on the basis that, um, you know, the Bhopal disaster, of course, is, you know, we're both our medical appeal. That's what we fund. Some of them are uh, cent you know, central on Bhopal, some of them um, in other parts of India. And of course, plenty uh, all over the world. They're one of the worst transgressors, as, as, as I'm sure we're all aware. Um, but we found a way of getting in sort of under the radar on the basis that of the conjunction of the, the Bhopal campaign. There's us as a medical appeal, um, there's an international campaign for justice in Bhopal, which is an international organisation. We're a UK organisation. Um, and as I say, we, you know, we needed to find this way under the radar. We, we found that um, in, in, in all the years of campaigning, um, you know, Dow's strategy uh, to deal with both issues is a PR strategy. That's what they decided from the, the day they took over the Union Carbide. Um, and they're very good at it. They spend a lot of money on it. And they have three of the world's biggest PR companies uh, you know, in, in hot to them. Um, and we, of course, got to know what their um, statements will be. And generally speaking, when a, a is raised, we don't have a way around it. Well, in this context, we went in um, and approached various people, uh, politicians and uh, media organisations, uh, with various issues which weren't focusing on the fallout from the 1984 disaster. So we went way in, um, and I wrote a brief in the paper, extremely contentious in um, the various Bhopal campaign circles, because they said I was dropping the ball. And it was all about the ongoing contamination in Bhopal, which is a made a point of stressing in the paper that I was not talking about 1984. Now actually this opened all sorts of doors, but I also knew it was another dead end because it's subject to court proceedings, and of course this is one of the ways that the no cold and anyone else can do that gets out of um, the vote power issues. That it's either uh, apparently a, a, a closed case, which is not true, or it's subject to court proceedings and they can't talk about it. Um, now this is what ultimately So I was actually going to, I mean, I'm not going to get against all this now, clearly, but I drew a scratchy little diagram last night to explain how this works down here. There's a sort of a linear progression through here, there's mean to here, there's other bits that come up here and join in back at certain times. But the point being, we're kind of going about here now, at which point you have to realise that there has to be something else, there's been another string to your bow. In this case, in fact, it was um, an issue with nothing to do with Bhopal at all. It's to say that while you were procuring, you may have picked up in, in, in the news, but not this week, no, as a one with resignation, there are, uh, as well as the ethics of Dow, people are questioning the procurement process. And this is really interesting, and we have Barry Gardner um, steaming into this, uh, in, he's a member of us. So. Um, but um, we found that underneath it, we, we had to have something that was not Bhopal focused and was a, a, a current issue. We have that, the Dow has been found guilty recently of bribery and um, trying to sell the bank. That was the thing that we fell back on. Um, so it meant that whichever answer we were given, whoever we were talking to, we had, you know, we had something to keep the debate alive. That's where we are now, um, and actually the way of keeping it alive now is broadening it. Um, we're looking at uh, taking on board different sort of athletes groups, Agent Orange um, concern groups, 
um, civic implant group. We're trying to get them all together. I mean, the way we see this, is bringing these people together doesn't in any way belittle our Bo Harpool and strength. I mean, there's so much material we're tacking down. It's, it just, it's incredible. I mean, just to close, I'll say, I mean, <coughs> our feeling is that um, Dow made the classic mistake here, and if you read like, the battle strategy and what they've done, is it's not much of an issue in America because the Americans don't care. They just get it. It's a big issue in India, clearly, but India are not so adept to sort of, you know, PR and media. <coughs> Underestimated the strength of the UK and the, the sort of the potential um, effectiveness of our campaign. They took their pilot into their enemy's backyard. <coughs> um, the position we're in now, as far as we're concerned, we can't lose. You know, they they either withdraw from the game and they've lost, or they don't. We carry on making noise and raising awareness to all the people they've lost.